Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play the Batman Telltale series, Season 1, Part 13. So in the last part we um, we told Selena basically to get lost because I don't ship that, I don't like her at all. Um, and then we actually found out that Alfred was taken, so we're gonna go track down Alfred, which hopefully will lead us to Vicky and then, yeah. So, let's just go ahead and get into it. Bruce Wayne, you should be rotting in a padded cell. Now, your butler, the man who raised you like his own son, will suffer in your place. But don't worry, you'll get him back eventually. Peace, kind bloody. Alfred. Oh my god. <sighs> this is Alfred my fault. is paying for the things my family has done. I'm responsible for this. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. He knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Is he gonna put the cowl on with just his, his white button down shirt? Don't okay, like that, Lucius, it's a game. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Okay, we got, we're in a basement. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Being that's what what's the recording. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. And we're in the basement. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this room. Well, that's not zooming let's out, so we Alfred's can't see how ridiculous scene. Bruce looks in the cowl and white button down <laughs> shirt. Sorry, I'm getting a drink. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Please. A basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Oh, <laughs> they won't let us see him. Okay. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. I can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. You are not going to believe this. Did I choose the right what one? Is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House. Oh, I, I chose where the Where she right killed one. her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. We know where Alfred is, but I'm without a working bat suit. Actually. Oh, Lucia. Lucia, she was on a nap. One of the early prototypes. Oh. It has basic cowl functionality, but outside of that, it doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. Oh. Uh. It's still a suit. Good call. 
make your wishes. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it should still scare the crap out of criminals. This okay. Ends tonight. Okay. Smack my fist together. Rah! I like his other suit more. Heading into the basement. Be careful. Whoo! I was wondering what that white light was. Right. The hells are some quick reflexes. No one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. Careful. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Okay. Let's let's look at the chair first. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. But there's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? Let's try pushing now on it. Now let's find out where the Veils were hiding. Oh, I should have kicked it. I thought the push wouldn't work. <gasps> There's a small room. What? With a hole in the floor. A basement within a basement. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Alfred? Alfred! He was down there at one point. If that's his blood. I'm going inside. Beat their kids. Bruce, what's down there? Oh Do you see God. Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? Vicky. She was kept down here. Locked away. Who could do that to their child? Cut. I'm beginning to understand. Is there to understand to willfully hurt a child where her anger no comes from Vicky is consumed with hate it's all she's ever known I can't even imagine but it doesn't give her the right to take it out on others the veils foster oh my god look at the doll the wants to suffer here I followed Alfred's blood into this hole if he had any opportunity at all he would have left me a clue well his glasses are on the floor fresh blood Ooh, his glasses there's drawings the shackles belts blood clawing and the doll so we'll just this blood is fresher than the rest must be alfred's fresher than the rest god his i'm trying his glasses and they're broken alfred's glasses Um, Bloody scratches, fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. No. Betting Vicky. Oh wait, they had that little boy. 
That means he was down here. Stuff over here. No. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different, newer. Okay, we'll need to look for fresh chalk. Shackles. The blood on them. With the oh, the fresh chalk is either Alfred and new. or the Vicky little boy. Did to Alfred, what was done to her. This is a creepy doll. Disturbing. Vicky created her here, in this room. That's this probably how Vicky saw herself. This is where Vicky Vale. Little girls Marco. like covet their dolls and often make them look as how they view themselves. So like little girls that are being um like sexually abused, their dolls are often like they have their hair cut, they have, you know, markings all over the dolls from like where the little girls are held down. Uh, like little girls make their dolls look like them or how they view themselves. One piece apart from most the of the time. Purple. Mm -hmm. the same color as my tag. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe. drawing. Looks like Alfred. Let me grab you. <laughs> Alfred. The highlighted words read, to Arkham. There's only two things I can link. Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. He's modified one of her own Lady Arkham drawings to include himself. And these two words. To Arkham. The chief. Going to Arkham, and she's taking Alfred with her. That's the final piece. Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. Including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors. Release the inmates. Then she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon at the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. Oh, our we'll grapple gun works. Grapple's creepy. Last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. And John's still here, too. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his beak. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Uh, his death also. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham will learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no 
idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you've suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You wouldn't know how I survived. I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. What's with the city, though? Like, why the city? Why, why is she so against the city? The city didn't do it to her. It was her parents. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. She's gonna really These scream. souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He's stuffing in here! Me too. Let me have him. He's the crazy one. Crap. Strike! Go! <laughs> oh! No. Crap. Harvey's going to get out. Batman. The entire security system's offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the Children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went <laughs> okay, we're gone. <laughs> oh my god, they're beating up each other. Here's the fat guy that gave the others that taser against me. to save him. I mean, I will, but I don't want to. That, again, the fat guy that gave those inmates the taser to beat me up with. Yeah, that guy. Let's do the full danger. Can I tase him with it? No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. That's probably gonna like make them think I'm super violent or something. I mean, all of this is gonna make them think I'm somewhat violent, but I don't want to tase them. I do, but I don't. Can I take his taser? Can I tase Ar Lady Arkham with it? Cause that, I'm oh my God, there's John. Just chilling. I don't trust that. I'm so wary of him. I knew which button I need to push this time. Gonna boom! I am so I don't like that. Ugh. I broke her mask. Take the stick! Get the stick. Oh, she shaved her hair off. Zaz! That's the plan. Gordon! Oh my god, right through the hand. Oh my god. Truly 
inspiring. <sighs> Such a pleasure to see your work in person. No. Jesus. John, get him out. No. Okay. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. Oh, blue popsicle man. <laughs> He's just opening and closing his door. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this oh, place and the music just suddenly cuts out. They speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Oh. Why well, believe she's falling? Is that like catacombs? Get your feet under you. Nope. Ooh. <gasps> Magic boots. I forgot she had those. <laughs> you need help. You're not well, Vicky. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. Touche. Yeah, that landed <laughs> not too good. Let him go. The butler has to die. Why? What did he, he do to you? Thomas sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. Oh crap. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind this 12 inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne, but first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. You're doing so much for one old man. Oh, I'm moving. Do I have to show her that I'm Bruce Wayne? Rich. Oh my god, I died! <laughs> I just pressed it the wrong way. He died twice. You're doing so much for one old man. I'm just protecting an innocent life. Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for God. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. I hate it when people fight, look at it that way. That's how Oz was like. I just, I did you, you a huge favor. That? I'm nothing like you. We want the same There's a better way. Those men deserved their day in court. Just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Scott? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, mm. leaving other men to carry his burden. Hmm. Really? You aren't my enemy, Batman. Really? I'm not being very wary. I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? 
Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. We're not being very graceful. Oh my god. He's like full on barreling after her. Ooh. Oh, she liked the little brother. <gasps> Alfred! Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... You came. You came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. <sighs> Such concern for someone you've never met before. It's called compassion. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder do you really care? Only one way to find out. <gasps> That man, don't you? Shut up, old man. You've seen my true self. Your turn. I have to show her who I am. that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him. No! No! <laughs> I'm not a coward anymore! This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man that is. He only looks out for himself. That's what you oh, think. But of course. <laughs> Don't hurt Alfred! No, I understand. Don't hurt Alfred! It's Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. No! Don't Turn twist away. this! Don't There's turn this. About you. I can't change the past. I can't change what happened in the past. I would have fought for you, Vicky. No one should have to suffer the way that you did. You don't know how I suffered. But you will. I'll show you what Thomas Wayne did Wait. to me. Wait. Taking family. off the cow is supposed to save Alfred, right? Okay. <gasps> Just bought the whole chunk of my ear. <laughs> oh, I'm missing a chunk of my ear. No more, no more talk. The only truth left is in your death. <laughs> oh, what were you expecting out of that? be like death in that one ear. What the fuck? Bam! 
What? Oh, I'm gonna Stop bring the thinking. whole building down. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. Oh no! Ooh, she's strong though. Like, there's no way. I I got a Bruce has got away a bit. I mean, if anything, it's just from the muscle mass. Oof. Okay, so what would I'm curious what would have happened if I had attacked her head on earlier instead of showing her. I need to focus on this. Stop wondering about that kind of stuff. Oh. I need Alfred. This part's gonna be so long. Alfred! Oh my gosh! Last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a dead. gruesome battle with the caped vigilante, vigilante. <laughs> only as the Batman. Vigilante. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. If the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Oh my god, we still have that chunk of art you're missing. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. With everything that's been going on, I, I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did. It's just like cleanly, like, chunked away. Safety. But, uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you I did worked it for so you. hard to maintain. Gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. Would Alfred be missing a chunk of his ear? If you're I here? Her? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> I think it's not very attractive. That it does. We will... Yikes. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be There'll proud. There'll be more. I can't take all the credit. Uh, I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon... Even Selena. Selena. And all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped and those we lost. 
The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. We'll just have to repair that. James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. Who is a Wayne? <laughs> You've helped this city tremendously. Both as Bruce Wayne and Is it gonna Batman. give me the choice to go as one or the and other? That person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Oh, you know. Oh, I just find another sh um Thank you. Thank you, I can't find a whole bunch of I did. Gosh dang it. So, what do you intend to do about Sorry, tonight? Well, it's gonna make you choose. Lucius has yet to invent a suit that will let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I think I'm gonna go with Bruce. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Alfred says stuff like that, and I don't know, but I'm... Perhaps I, one is truly the best. I'm gonna stick with my original decision well, to go as Bruce. No, Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Hopefully he's not too disappointed that Batman didn't show up. Also, this part's gonna be so long. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. That doesn't sound right. Yes, it does. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. Like chunk. What the I can't happened to get your hair? over the chunk. It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. <laughs> What'd you use? A chainsaw? <laughs> Cut myself shaving. If I had chosen be another honest, option at the beginning, would it be something call. different? Now, after that nasty business at your manor. I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Well, before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. Um, show them the real Bruce Wayne. <laughs> These people. You have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is. But that's about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. He won't. I'm sorry. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. He's protecting If Gotham. Batman isn't here, it's because he's more needed somewhere else. I wouldn't take it personally. <laughs> yeah. Good advice when it comes to that guy. <laughs> Are ready for you, There's someone to get his hopes up to have us. Or have now, during bats times like show up. Up. It could feel impossible to hold on to hope. God, listen to Gordon's speech. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen... I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I just beat up British people. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough doc to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, oh. 
but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. Ellie. Uh, we can't live in the past. No matter how much I want to, I can't change the past. Gotham's so-called golden age was built on corruption and lies. But that doesn't mean that going forward, we can't do things differently. We have to do things differently. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. Stop, I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. Stop. And to that end... Uh, a stronger Gotham police would... Better arc missile. I am ceasing construction on the Wayne Mental Health Facility. Instead, I'll be devoting all my resources to improving the existing Arkham Asylum. It will be the most advanced mental health treatment facility in the country, in keeping with the vision of its founders. I should have done a police. I immediately regretted that choice. <gasps> oh my god. I'm out of the way. speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Oh no, John got out. See you soon. No, not see me soon. No, not see me soon. Oh my god. I got Ellie howling. You and 76.9 of players distracted Penguin long enough for Gordon to get the job done. Wait, did we, did, was there a choice not to? <laughs> you and 67.9 of players comforted Alfred that he wasn't to blame. <laughs> you and 91.3 of players regarded Selena <laughs> as more of a thief. She is. You and 73.1 of players removed your cowl. I want to know what the other, like, what would have happened from the other option. You and 61.6 of players showed up to Gordon's address as Bruce. Guys, the game's done! Oh my gosh. It's a long part. Get my season overview. I died twice. I am very compassionate. I'm cunning. Okay, I'm so I'm 74% compassionate. The crusade to defend Gotham is about helping people, being a beacon of hope in a dark world, to use one's strength to lift people up instead of just beating villains down. 71% uh, merciful over brutal, 65% cunning over honest, 57% collaborative over self-reliant. Hmm. Guys, that game was really good. Um, if I were to review this, I'd probably give it a 4 out of 5 stars, mainly because of the lag. And I don't know if that's my end, if that's actually the game, um, but probably a 4 out of 5 stars because the lag got kind of annoying. And... Yeah. I mean, maybe I should bump that up to four and a half. This game was amazing. It was really good. So... Yeah, I guess this is it for Batman Telltale Series Season 1. Um, I will eventually play Season 2, but I'm going to start a different game, Bendy and the Ink Machine, and hype of Bendy and the Dark Revival coming out soon. So, 
stay tuned for that because I'm really excited to play that game as well. And yeah, so thank you guys and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.